everybody doing? It's funny, but when I ask that question, I always get the feeling y'all aren't being completely honest with me. I mean, I know you're all feeling fine and good, woohoo, but how come nobody ever says, I'm shit-faced drunk, I'm feeling great. We just split an eight ball, the tequila's rolling, we are feeling sensational. We're college students, we dropped acid now and go, you better be funny. <laughs> See, now if I got responses like that, it'd help me out, because after the show, I know who I was going to party with. <laughs> All these wonderful faces in the crowd, and it's kind of strange, but my shrink's not one of them. <laughs> because ever since I started doing stand-up, my increased performance anxiety has ruined her sex life. Or so she tells me. Last session, she was the one up on the couch, topless, trying to lure me out of my socks, and she was back up on the couch with her. She was using my mommy issues and everything. Come here, my sweet boy. Come on up on the couch, baby. Come on, my sweet boy. And I was getting turned on. But then she went too far. Come on, baby. Come to mommy. What the fuck? I looked her off as confused and disgusted with a raging heart on. But there's no reason to bear it. I wasn't even going to go there. But now, my girlfriend and I have sex. She calls me her sweet boy. And I come so hard, she can taste it. So, therapy, it works if you keep on coming. Bad, bad, bad. It works if you keep on coming back. I'm for it. <laughs> back to my performance anxiety. I did try to cure this condition. Oh, yes. I took my girlfriend to a swingers club. My ex-wife declined an invitation to join us. <laughs> the bitch who keeps on not giving. Any Thanksgiving. Or forgiving. See, I figured if I could maintain an erection while well, my girlfriend performed fellatio on me, Fellatio. Funny, but whether I use the word fellatio or blowjob brings a smile to my face. <laughs> but if you want to get my girlfriend to smile, you might want to stick with blowjob. She's not the smart one in the relationship. <laughs> but just because you don't know the meaning of a word doesn't mean you can't be good at it. She still thinks swallow is a cute little birdie. And that works for me. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> So see, I figured if I could perform, and by that means stay erect while she performed on me, in a room full of 30 people we didn't even know, stand-up comedy be a breeze. <laughs> Katrina was a breeze, right? Just checking. Now for any of you who suffer from performance anxiety, my shrink did give me one little trick that when executed correctly will cure that condition instantly. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be picturing you all naked. I'm not taking off my clothes. But huh, I feel kind of safe here, and... Well, my imagination kind of freezes up when I get nervous, so... If you can all just help me out by taking your tops off... I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable or suggest anything too strange, but if you can just... I'll take your tops off. Ladies, I won't peek. Promise. Dan, I never get the shirt down fast enough to get a good look at the boobs. So guys, was it odd? For what? Well, they took... Ladies, come on! I'm going to have to start getting my shrink to come to these damn shows. Please do. Benedictine, my thank you.